Ni hao nerds, I'm an Asian and I wanted to make this video because I'm adopted. Wow, crazy. Uh, I was adopted from Guangzhou, China. Uh, when I was four years old and uh, I mean, I, would, I flew here to Olympia and now I live here in Spokane. So, I mean, that's just a little bit about me. I wanted to do a DNA test and my gotcha day is coming up on May 15th. That's the day I got adopted from my two lovely parents. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I got stuck with my sister. So, she's, she's, hi sister. Anyway, so, wait, that's James Charles. So yeah, I've been adopted for 14 years now. I'm 17 years old. And uh, back in May 15th, 2007, when I was adopted, a couple years later, or a couple months later, my sister was born and she's really cool. You've probably seen her in a couple of videos. She's currently dancing behind the camera right now. I really want to know my, well, like my bio, like biological stuff and like DNA and stuff and like actually where I'm from. Cause I am from Southern China. Uh, that's where Guangdong is. That's the province, and pro province, not the province. That's a hospital. Um, anyway, so DNA test. I uh, decided to do 23andMe. It's uh, coming soon. So when I get that, I will, I will do that. Do a little unboxing, opening up, see what it's like, and uh, let's cut to it right now. Okay, we're, we are now back. It is May 16th, Sunday right now. My gotcha day was yesterday. We had a nice little barbecue thing. We usually have Chinese food, but today we a little, little different. Had salmon burgers, it was really nice. Okay, so um, this just came in. Welcome to you. I hope I get to know everything about me, but this is 23 of me. It's a small little box and uh, let's, let's open it. So first what we have to do is we have to cut it open. Uh, my sister just used this knife for potatoes. So let's uh... Just... Just like that. Look, that was so easy. I mean, you can use your fingers or probably scissors really, but I mean, it's the fun of that, you know? All right, here it is. It's so small. And I was looking at the t video, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna spin into this little vial and Oh, look. Hi. Step one, you want to go and register your kit online to this link, 23andme.com slash start. So right now I have my computer pulled up and I will be logging in with the same account that I used to go and purchase this. What this will help you do is that it will track your DNA. So you will be able to know when it, uh, you'll be able to track it when it goes into the factory and then when you uh, receive it. So step two, you want to make sure you do not eat or drink for the next 30 minutes. And I have done that. So you wanna make sure your mouth is all clean and none of that icky stuff. So your saliva is all you. <laughs> for step three, we will be opening up the funnel. And for this, you have to open up the box all the way. So in here you get some coupons. So that's really nice. And here is the box itself. There's not a lot in there. There's just the information and the, the funnel itself. It's in this little box. Cool. Here it is. So let's open this up. Oh, it smells clean. So this is where you put the funnel at the end when you're already done spinning it. So you'll put it back in into the box. Here is the funnel itself. So very nice. And here is the lid that you want to put on when you're done with the funnel. So for step three, it says fill to the line. So I'm gonna be start. I'm gonna start spinning in this thing. So that's gonna be fun. Cool. I have to fill to this to this line. Guys, I built up so much spit for this one. There's a lot of bubbles. This is harder than I thought. It wasn't even spit! 
How do you get more saliva in your mouth? If you ever need a lot of saliva, just do this. Did you just swallow it? Don't swish it around in your mouth. That's just going to make more bubbles. Oh. So it's been like 10 minutes now, and apparently I'm really dehydrated. Um, you should probably be really de uh, dehydrated before you do this, because it's really hard for me to get a lot of saliva. But you have a fill-up line, and I'm currently a little halfway there, so... Uh, so it tells you that you have to fill it up to the line, but that's only the saliva itself, not the bubbles. It's like a spoon, like when you put it under the sink, it just right back to your face. <laughs> Step four, close the funnel lid. You ready? Here it is. Ah, and there's the click. So that's some nice fluid in there. And then for step four, step five, it says to screw the lid in. So this is the funnel. And now we will unscrew it and then now screw the lid on. So first we want to unscrew it. Make sure you do not spill any of that yummy bubbles. Okay. I'm firmly grasping this. And then you just want to screw it back on with a piece of hair. I hope it's not Milo's hair or I will be <laughs> half dog. It's probably gonna say, be like, uh, and you're a, you're, a, you're a quarter schnauzer. I will be a schnauzer. Okay, so there we go. There is some bubbles. You want to screw this really tight. It's overflowing. It's, it may be over. Okay, I, I had a lot of bubbles, okay? I'm a bubbly guy. Personality. Because that's... Anyway. Step six. All right, we are... This is the last step. I think you can shake it now. Yeah. If you want to, you can shake it. Okay. I'm going... So, we now just screwed the lid for step five. And we're going to start shaking. Shake. Shake. Shake, shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it, shake it, it off. off. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So, step six. We are now going to put it into the uh, seal it in the bag. Um, we just put this into here. So, what we do is just put it in there. And then we're just gonna seal the seal the back. I think we just put it in there. There's a sticker right here. We're going to peel that off. Make sure that it is down here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to fold this over to seal it. There we go. Now it's all safe in this little seal. Look at that. <laughs> Step seven. We're going to ship in the box. Okay, before, before any of that, I forgot to mention that step one is to grab your uh, 14 digit code and put it into your computer. Answer the question. So I'm gonna type in my code right now. Okay, so for the seventh step, we are going to put our thing, our DNA, into the box, and we are going to peel here. And peel this off. There we go. And that's the sticker, or the, the, the adhesive. You close this box up, and close it tightly. There you go. And that's it right there. So now we just gotta mail this off and 
I will be getting my res results to three to four weeks. Thanks, 23 and Me. We're gonna we're gonna cut to my results right now. All right, now I have my results. It's been a month, I think. It's around there. Anyway, I got my results, and let's see if nerdy Asian is really Asian. Really, I want to find out if I'm either Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, Korean. You know, all those races in the southeast of. China. So if we go on to 23andMe, we can go log in and find out that I'm 100% Chinese. No surprise there. Uh, but I'm 87.2% Chinese from uh, Guangdong, mainland China. So that's actually where I was like born. And that's actually pretty cool how they like figure out where I was born. And I'm 12.8% Chinese guy, which is a couple provinces over from Guangzhou or Guangdong. So, um, yeah, no surprise really. I, I'm 100% Chinese, so nerdy Asian, nerdy Asian. Now let's find out uh, how healthy I am. I, uh, I, I think I'm pretty healthy. I mean, I haven't really had much problems with my health, but if we look through here, we can see that health predisposition. Yes. And as you can see, for everything here, like age-related macular degeneration and all that kind of stuff, the, the, there are no variants detected. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go on to other health, like carrier status. And it looks like um, variants are not detected anywhere with this category either. Um, just keep on scrolling. Um, yeah, nope. <laughs> Nothing there either. Uh, let's keep on going to wellness. There are eight reports there. Oh, here we go. So alcohol, um, alcohol flush reaction. I'm likely to flush. My cheeks kind of get pinkish. Uh, caffeine consumption, uh, likely not to uh, likely to consume less and I don't drink any coffee but I do like tea uh, deep sleep more likely to be a deep sleeper I can sleep so well and I sleep pretty heavy and uh, genetic weight is predisposed to weigh about average um, and then lactose intolerance likely intolerant uh, muscle composition common in elite power athletes I do wheelchair sports and uh, that's crazy how like the muscles that I have right now are found in power athletes. That's really cool. Uh, saturated fat and weight, uh, likely si uh, similar weight. Uh, yes. Oh. Sleep movement, uh, likely average or less movement. That's that's cap because I move around so much. Like my blankets are just like just everywhere, and I'm a messy sleeper. <laughs> So uh, all of these are not 100%, they are all speculations and most of them are pretty spot on though. Uh, all right, now let's go into traits. Do 37 reports. Black hair, I have a 71% chance of little or no black hair and then 29% chance of having at least some black hair. Okay, <laughs> bald spot, 92% chance I do not have a bald spot. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then 50, uh, cheek dimples, 52% chance you do not have uh, dimples, and I do not have dimples. Uh, cleft chin, uh, butt chin is what they're known as. 75% chance I do not have a cleft chin, that's true. Dandruff, 7% chance you have dandruff. I do have pretty gnarly dandruff, so that's, that's good. Uh, earlobe type, 82% chance of detached earlobes. And that is right, detached. Early hair loss, I have an 81% chance I will not experience hair loss or thinning before age 40. That's pretty good. I like that. Earwax type, I have an 81% chance of dry, flaky earwax. Yes, I do. I, I got some dry ones. That's actually pretty cool. I like dry ones because they're all flaky and you can just take them out. Anyway, uh, eye color, Jackson, uh, your genetic re uh, predicts that I have 75% chance of dark brown eyes, and that is true. Uh, <laughs> I have a negative 1% chance of greenish blue eyes. Asian. Finger length ratio, 66% chance my ring finger is longer than your index finger. Ring finger, index, 
Yes, they are longer. Freckles. I have 77% chance of few, if any, freckles. And no freckles. Asian. Uh, hair photo bleaching, 59% chance you do not experience hair photo bleaching, and I do not. Hair texture, I have 62% chance of straight hair. Yeah, my hair is pretty straight. I have a negative 1% chance of very tight curls. And I read more about this, that I cannot pass down curly hair genes at all. So if I marry it or have kids with someone that has curly hair, my kids will never have curly hair. That's cool. Uh, light or dark hair, 67% chance of dark brown hair, dark brown hair. Uh, newborn hair, a 55% chance that I have lots of hair at birth, and I, I kind of did. Um, I was on like bald all the time, so that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> red hair, um, I have a 1% chance of having red hair. No surprise. Skin pigmentation, 48 chance of having light beige skin. That's kind of like light beige, right? I think. I am a tanner, so that's pretty cool. Stretch marks. 57% chance I have stretch marks, and I do have some stretch marks. Yes. Toe length ratio. 73% chance you have longer big toe. I... I don't. Uh, my second toe is actually longer, and chances of that is 27%, so... Uh, alright. Oh, here's one. Uh, unibrow. I have, I, I get unibrows. 55% chance I have a little bit of a unibrow. 23% uh, chance you have a moderate to thick unibrow, and 22% chance I don't have a unibrow. So, 55%, yep, I have unibrow. A uh, widow's peak, I have a 72% chance I do not have a widow's peak, and I'm pretty sure I don't. So, that is it for the traits. That's pretty cool. Uh, taste and smell. Asparagus odor detection, and it says likely can smell, and I can smell asparagus. Bitter taste, I likely can taste bitter, uh, yes. Cilantro taste, aversion. Slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro, I hate cilantro. It is, ooh, like no, I can't put that on my food at all. It's ice cream flavor preference, more likely to prefer vanilla over chocolate ice cream, and I do, and I love ice cream so much, my only dessert I would ever eat. And sweet versus salty, and I likely prefer salty. I don't like sweet at all. I cake, I can't, too sweet. Uh, weird and wonderful. Uh, ability to match musical pitch. More likely to be able to match a musical pitch. Sometimes, not really. I'm not like, I'm not like Charlie Proof. I can't like remember and just know the note, you know? Uh, bunions, less likely to ha uh, average to have bunions. So no bunions. Pretty good. Fear of heights, less likely uh, than average to be afraid of heights. I don't really care. Uh, fear of public speaking, less likely of having fear of public speaking. That's true. Flat feet, more likely average to have flat feet. I don't have flat feet at all. They're curved, like the earth. Uh, hair thickness, more likely to have thick hair. I have really thick hair. Compare it to my sister's hair in a microscope, super thick. Uh, misophonia, average odds of hating chewing sounds. I don't really hate it that much, not my sister. My sister hates it though, a lot. Mosquito bite frequency, likely bitten more often than others. Yes, I get so many bumps when I camp, just mosquitoes love me. Motion sickness, more likely to experience motion sickness. When I was younger, I had really bad motion sickness. I would have these bracelets that you have to like, have the little thing in the, you know what I'm talking about? It would apply pressure to it. When I wore that, it was all good. Uh, but there are some science behind it, so, you know. Uh, photic sneeze ref uh, photic sneeze reflex. Likely no photic sneeze reflex. I do. The sun, I look at that sun, and I just, yeah, dab, sneeze. <laughs> so that one's pretty wrong, but wake up time is likely to be around 8.57. I don't know why, but yeah, not my sleeping schedule. I mean, not my sleeping habits. Well, that's, that's about it with, uh, with my DNA, 23andMe, uh, pretty cool. Just wanted to know if I was like Chinese or not and just wanted to know my health. It turns out I'm really healthy and that's pretty cool. Um, gotta know a little bit more about me because it's all like in my Dena DNA. So thanks for watching. I, I really hope you guys liked it. And uh, yeah, this took me a long time to make because I've been pushing it back. But you know, if you guys, if you guys like the video, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool in my book.
you know, my heart. Thanks so much. All right, um, see ya. <laughs>